we've got a MMA bout between Chase Stafford and Jeffrey Megan. So both of these guys have had a lot of fights. Yeah, uh, yeah. Both of them interesting. are very, uh, very well versed in the combat world all the way around. This is a big, big fight, boys. It should be a very good one. This guy right here, former collegiate wrestler out of uh, Pittsburgh, trains a very legit camp. You know what he's going to be looking to do in this fight. It's a very clear-cut fight. Chase Stafford's going to be looking to strike. He's an excellent kickboxer. Very heavy hands. We got an excellent wrestler coming out right now looking to put him on his back and beat him up. Now, interestingly enough, neither of these guys have ever been finished by strikes. Both guys tall, too, for this weight class. Yes. Tall and in great shape. They're both coming off unanimous decision losses in their last fight, so both guys will be hungry to get this W. Here comes Chase Stafford. Now, Chase's last fight was of uh, January of this year, uh, where he lost a unanimous decision to Trey Cusack, who is now currently ranked the number two uh, light heavyweight amateur in Ohio and the number two light heavyweight amateur in the Midwest. And you know, we saw so, Chase Stafford, his last fight was a loss against Rick Randolph. And Rick Randolph is such a game veteran. I think Chase learned a whole lot from that fight. Chase is always in any fight that he's in. Even when he's down, he's, you know, one shot away from turning around and getting back in it. And so you know, he's, the, he's the owner of one of the most beautiful and vicious knockouts we've ever seen at New Line Cage Fighting over... I don't know who it was over, but it was a high kick, and it's our number one viewed video on YouTube. Absolutely slept this guy in about 20 seconds. Wow. His kicks are super dangerous, taekwondo background. And it's fascinating because he only got started in combat sports in college. Really? Yeah, he started taekwondo in college. So what kind of stance does he come out in? Unorthodox? Or? Very wide, like traditional Martin Bart style stance. You'll see he's very active with that front leg. Yeah. But he's been working a whole lot. I've talked to him. He said he's been working a ton on his boxing. Trying to get his hands to where his kicks are. And and that makes saw, it interesting. We saw change his footwork, right? before he fought Randolph, he was up against Eli Hawkins. Knocked him out in the first round with a beautiful straight right. Really? Wow. We know Eli's a killer, so that's awesome. I mean, that's Eli, former WVU boxer as yeah. well. To put him away with your with punches is very impressive. This is a good, evenly matched fight. I look forward to it. This has been barn burners tonight. Yes. Yep, we can see the stance already. Looking at it, right. My so big, that's the problem with the boxing. If he comes out in the stance, the box is going to be not so good. My big question here is, can he stop this takedown against such a highly accredited wrestler? You know exactly what's going to happen in this fight. You just don't know which side's going to come out on top. Oh! oh wow, nice switch kick. There it is. And there's the double leg straight Last to the back. Double, and now he's in a bad spot. And you'll see here, Stafford, very inexperienced on the ground. Yeah, he's not doing anything currently. He's, he's not quite sure what to do. You see, he's framing, yeah. though, on the hip, trying to yeah. make a little space. He's get mounted, though. And he's in a bad spot. He's giving it, whoop, he almost gave up his back. Yeah, now, we're here, looking. we're in that spot. Let's see his hips. Let's see if he knows what to do from here. It doesn't look like. And I think that, uh, I think that Magan's thinking about, I was thinking about that key lock. Yeah. I don't know, Mac is going to, it's looking like he's going to end it fast. Yeah. He's raining down yeah. shots and Chase is eating some big that's ones. It, that's yeah. It, ladies and gentlemen. DKO finished with yeah. Joffrey Magan. He put Chase out. So you nailed it, Elijah. You nailed it. It's just a matter, you've got to be well rounded. You've got to be. Like, I, I don't care how good a striker you are, if you can't keep it on the feet, you're in trouble. And we yeah. saw that here. 
I think, though, Chase is going to come back stronger. He knows what he's got to work on. He does. He needs to take some time off, work on that, because his stand-up looked beautiful. That was a great And, and I don't think he's going to become a jiu-jitsu ace. I really don't. No. He needs to just figure out how to stop that thing. He needs to. Look at Israel Adesanya. He's a guy who's the top-level striker, and he can't take him down. But look at this ground and pound. It's vicious, and right and there, he's see, unconscious. You can, yeah. yeah. You could see when Stafford woke up, he was still wobbly. He was. It's a classic grappler versus striker. It was, um, for sure. And like Elijah was alluding to there, uh, you know, another guy that does very well uh, with anti-grappling was Chuck Liddell. He used his wrestling in reverse to stay absolutely. on his feet and you yeah. capitalize on what he was good at. That's kind of why the best base is wrestling, right? You have Absolutely. to be able to dictate where the fight is. As you could tell, once they hit the ground, uh, really didn't do anything. Yeah, Chase wasn't sure. Yeah, bummer. But like you guys said, you know, Chase takes some time off, gets that grappling under control, and he could be dangerous. Yes. Elijah's standing by with the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very dangerous 